Hi, this is Ali Shamal. This is our X650 V4, the new frame uh, and the old setup. This is an RTF version with the Futaba T8J. And uh, before we actually uh, deliver to the customers, we would like to test fly it and tweak all the settings and see everything is okay and then deliver it to customers. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the very first step after we have finished assembly to bring it out. What we need to do is calibrate the NASA uh, GPS compass and after that we will give it a flight and see how it is flying and we will also try to shoot video using the GoPro HD and the stabilized camera mount dual axis. So uh, first I will turn on the radio and uh, let the GPS find the satellites. RTF means you don't have to do anything except take it out of box, uh, add the landing gear, add the camera mount which is piece of cake and uh, unfold, uh, add the battery, go out, calibrate your compass because geographical location changes and uh, after calibration just start flying. Okay, so on Futaba 8J, your VR knob is set to control the gains of NASA remotely, so you can increase, decrease gains using the VR knob. Uh, DT6 or DT5, accordingly, we will set to control the tilt of your camera gimbal, okay? And your switch E is your flight mode switch, which will change from manual to altitude hold mode, and then GPS position hold mode. Switch C is at the moment uh, empty, but we can set it for the intelligent orientation control if asked by the customer. Uh, next thing, uh, we can set the fail safe either on the, any of these, one of these three position switches. So you can flip the switch and let it come back to you, auto return to home and land, or we can set it, just turn off the radio and it will come back. So failsafe also has been set in case if the uh, radio connection or radio signal is lost, your uh, quadcopter will auto return to home and land there. All right, so everything is set and I think I have all the satellites. What I need to do is compass calibration. So I will move the switch E a number of times until the LED goes completely yellow. All right, so here we go. yellow all right now very simple pick your quad and rotate it 360 degrees slow and nice keeping it horizontal and you see LED turns green once it turns green put the head down don't worry about the camera gimbal going crazy and rotate it one more time in the same way until you see the LED has turned off all right once the LED is turned off, this means your compass calibration is done. I would highly recommend that you disconnect the power. All right, recycle the power. That is turn on the radio again, wait five seconds, and then connect the power. There we go. Wait for the satellites, which I think it already found. And look at the camera gimbal stabilization. It's working, sweet. Okay, all right, so we are ready to fly. Let's give it first flight and test different flight modes. the wind 
but it is keeping its position the fine of wind gust it will stay there that is a solid GPS position hold now what you need to do is simply move to shoot better videos without worrying about anything Turn on the GoPro. And I will teach you the CSC commands as well. Result. All right, so CSC command is you move the sticks all the way down inside, outside, at one side, or don't try to throttle up and left and right because that will cause uh, the quad to go really high uh, throttle. So you just put the sticks down either way and your motors will start moving, or you can turn the motors off. So you can arm and disarm the motors easily by pressing down, inside, down outside or down at one side, down at one side, left or right, anywhere. So here we go. Let me shoot some shots of this area. Once it's on GPS position hold mode, you can easily change your positions to realign your orientation and get more good shots. So now I'm in position and I will fly it to get better shots. flying so nice so smooth no vibrations at all because we're using very efficiency high efficiency carbon fiber balance blades and the motors are also balanced motors what's more with the stabilized camera mount i don't think you're gonna get any wobbles in your videos so uh let's go home and see how this video turns out 
and uh, you will know what we are talking about and why we are loving the X650 V4 on this new shape here. Don't go for this big ugly head, go for the performance. This big ugly head actually also hides the GPS and everything inside. Alright, so uh, let me take it off, which is easy, push it. comes off everything hides inside your Futaba R2008 R2008 SP high volt or the 2.4 volt GHG receiver is in there as well supplied together with Futaba THJ and this uh, receiver also supports S bus and your NASA also supports S bus so uh, this equipment is actually really really uh, I would say totally worth it for what you are paying for it I'm loving this one. I think I'm gonna prepare one of this X650 V4 for my personal use very, very soon. For now, this one is going out to one lucky customer who's gonna enjoy shooting some aerial footage.